Okay, so about proposition 10. So we have uh, those two parts. Let's do the first one. Uh, given two maps uh, that belong to the set of linear maps from E to F denoted with uh, some kind of calligraphic L from E to F. Okay, that is the set that contains all linear maps from E to F. So we want to show that uh, if I take two items, so, well, actually, the first thing is just to show that uh, this set itself is uh, actually a vector space. <laughs> Yes, indeed. So the uh, it's very. Uh, this is also one of the propositions that uh, come comes a bit further. That's proposition eleven, actually. All right. So uh, how does that go? Um, first thing we have that the map. Let's call it uh, the zero map, the one that takes for any. Uh, element x in E associates the element zero f. That would be the zero uh, map, all right? The equivalent of a zero map. That's linear and so on, and so that exists. So it does belong, uh, we can write it this way, it belongs to L of EF. Okay, that's the first item to show that we have a nurse. But I'm showing proposition 11 at the same, at the same time. Okay, next thing. Um, so that's the first thing we need to show that we have vector space. The second thing we need to show is to show that um, for any item that um, belongs to, uh, to, for any F that belongs to the set of linear maps from E to F, for any G that belongs to the set of linear maps from E to F, and so for any lambda that belongs to R, do I have that? Um, lambda f plus g belongs to the set of linear maps from E to f. Okay, so this is uh, pretty straightforward. So um, what do we need to show? We need to show that given two linear maps f and g, I have that this linear combination is still a linear map from E to f. So let's see. Um, lambda f plus g applied to, well, we're going to need a linear combination of elements in E to, to show that this is a linear map. Okay, so I'm taking x, y that belong to E. I'm taking, well, let's take a mu that belong to R. Do I have that this map, uh, this function that is defined as the linear combination of the function is itself linear, okay, from E to F. Uh, so do I have that applied to mu x plus y? Does it give me? So that's the question. Something like, um, uh, well, I would need mu um, applied to mu times lambda f plus g applied to x plus lambda f plus g applied to what? Okay, is, is that true? So, well, this is very straightforward because um, this is going to be lambda f plus g of mu x plus y. This is really lambda f applied to mu x plus y plus g applied to mu x plus y and each of those maps f and g being uh, themselves uh, linear that's going to be lambda times mu times f of x plus lambda times f of y plus mu times g of x plus g of y and I can rewrite this really as mu times lambda f of x plus g of x plus um, f lambda times f of y plus g of y. And so this is um, really something that I can rewrite as uh, mu times lambda f plus g applied to x 
plus lambda f plus g applied to y and uh, this is it this is what we wanted to show we indeed have a linear map okay